how we can create glass morphism style. After that, we will go on to create actual template for our Power BI report. But let's just keep in mind that we are not designing anything in Power BI. It's not a, a session for visualization in Power BI. Uh, my visualizations are already set in Power BI, but we will see how we can use that template to uh, align these visuals so our, so our report would look better. Um, okay, so before creating glass morphism, what you can do, uh, PowerPoint has many stock images, many good stock images, many good icons. So if you go to insert, you can see icons. They have many good icons. Most of the times I use icons from here, but if they don't have a particular icon, I go to some other place like flight icons or, or whatever. Um, ah, yeah, we are going to pictures, stock images, sorry, stock images. And now we can scroll down and see which image we can use. Um, uh, this one. You would be thinking how you can use this kind of image uh, for your reports you are preparing for your organization, right? But it is possible. If your organization theme is something like this, you are good to go. And I would show you how, how it is possible. So now you can click on the first design idea. What it will do, it will take up your whole canvas automatically. Now we have our background image. Now we will go to insert shapes and we will use rounded rectangle. I will draw one rounded rectangle like this. I can play with borders now. I can increase or decrease the radius of the borders. Uh, to me, it's okay. Now I can go to fill. For now, I don't want any line. Now to have a glass morphism effect, you have to go to gradient fill. I have already showed you how you can use gradient fill. There is a technique to have glass morphism style effect. Keep only two gradient stops, first of all. Delete this one. Bring one, the dark one to the left hand side, light one to the right hand side. Click this one. But before changing both the gradient stops to white, I would want to set the direction because if I select the same colors for both of the stops, and if I go to direction, I cannot see any direction. Just select one dark color for one and you can see the direction. And usually the direction is like diagonal from top left to bottom right. Do we have something like this, this one? Yeah, I'm good with this. Now I'm changing it to white. Now the only thing you have to do, you have to set the transparency for this one. I would set the transparency to 60, try 80%. Now you can already see we have some glass-like effect already. Now to another gradient stop, maybe try 90, no, um, 20. So you can see we have some glass-like effect already. But it's very bright, right? First, we tried with white color, but it is very bright. Now, you can play with it. It's up to you. Like, if white looks okay to you, you can go ahead. But what you can do, you can select this gradient stop, select black color, and set the transparency to almost around 87. And if you move this object, you can see the glass-like effect. I'm not happy with the white color. Uh, 
I am increasing the transparency for white one also. Maybe the direction we can change. Yeah, this direction looks perfect for this one. Now you can play, play with it more until you are happy, but we already have a glass like effect. Now I want to set the line for this one too, but very subtle line, solid line, white color. Ah, uh, no, not good. I can set the transparency to 80%. Now we have a very subtle line for this, for this shape. Now imagine you are doing visualization on this one. It would look really, really cool. And you can bring in icons from PowerPoint. Insert. Decrease the size a bit. Change the color to white. It's centered align. Now we can write some text. We can say light up your day with enterprise DNA. Um, white color align it properly so we have the same distance from top and bottom and middle uh, yeah we can we can align it a bit more but uh, I'm leaving it for now so now you can see it looks really really cool Imagine you, you are building your cards with glass morphism effect in your Power BI report with visualization and everything. It would look very good. And the benefit of glass morphism, it, it works on any background image. If your background image has multicolors like this one, it, it even looks better. Now you know how you can create glass morphism effect. Now we are moving on to our actual template for our Power BI report.